so this is what we are going to do today create a menu driven program to create a book database using dictionary objects students in your projects you can also utilize a uh, file handling and apart see database connectivity should be there but apart from that if you add file handling also to generate files so that they could be printed later on that would be an added extra benefit so i'm going to just explain today how we can create a menu driven program for handling book database using a dictionary objects now everybody knows that dictionary object contains data in the form of key and value pairs isn't it so we have key value pairs so we no longer have to worry about the indices that is index value let us start recording let me check yes i am started so we don't have to uh, no more have to worry about indices we can easily do the work with the help of the keys which are provided right so we are going to see how, how we can create a file where we would be storing individual dictionary values so instead of having individual list objects we will be having individual dictionary objects in the file and we will be reading these dictionary objects also in the same way rest everything will be the same only thing instead of lists we are using what dictionaries okay so we will be using dictionary object now so what are the fields which we need book no book title price and genre what should be the book number can anyone suggest what data type should you take for book number Ma'am, like B one zero one. Yes, we can take B one zero one, B one zero two, something like this. Okay, for book number, book title, of course, it will be the name of the book, price, price of the book, which will be a float value, and it depends. But if you want to keep the price in whole numbers, you can take it as integer, or you can take it as float. So book title will be string. Book number will also be string. and genre will also be string okay so now let us check out some books i have already created a file which contains some ready made uh, book names right so these are some of the names of the books which are downloaded today itself so we are going to take up few some four to five uh, such book books and we are going to do our work so let us just first fix the genre of all the books i'm going to add another column here and let me what could be the genre for this beyond religion can anyone tell me just quickly tell me the genre for the first five books anything maybe i could take it as non fiction i witness i can also take this as non fiction we should take some other genres also art of living mm, the day i stopped drink, drinking milk let me take this as uh, now i don't understand what to yes quickly suggest me hurry up what can i take for the art of living a reality just quickly go on suggesting certain uh, such um, genre so that we could start with our program next is india and the world what could this be reality can be taken as non now all of them are non fiction only so we'll take something else like uh, okay this also we can take uh, india and the world of the 21st century we can take this as suggest jaldi jaldi bolo beta kuch bhi genre batao let me take this also as reality okay next what could this be taken can i write it as fiction i'm writing it as fiction for the time being then again india 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 i don't want that working with the lions uh 
tales from a diplomatic past. Shadow of the crescent moon, let me take this as fiction. So these few things I'm going to take, okay. One day, this can also be taken as fiction. So I have taken these few uh, names and we are going to add these to the file, right? So I'm going to save this and let us start with our program. So we will first start with creating a menu. Save it. So now it is going to be book database binary five dot v Green. Book management. Insert book. Display all books. Search for a book. Update book. Read book. And the last one will be exit. Your choice. If choice is equal to one, third new book and apply pass. Elif is equals to display all books. Pass elif. Choice equals three. Search for a book. Elif choice equals four. Update book. Pass Elif choice equals five. Delete book. Else break. And all this has to be provided within a while loop. We'll start with creating one file object. Books.dat. So we can append, we can read at the same time. So now let's start with our very first function. First, we will import pickle. Second is we are going to start with the function for insert. So insert book. And for this, first we will ask for the values from the user. So let's say, mm, I'll take ANS equals Y while ANS book number equals a book number book 
title equals input enter name of book when we decided book number to be a string yes we decided it you want it to be a number i can keep it as a number this was what we decided yeah, we can yeah. keep it as a number also okay no problem enter the genre and there are actually many genres but uh, the list which i have downloaded it contains only few typical so next time what we are going to do we will create a database which contains books of different genres okay so this and the last one is price or the best thing is to use eval function enter the price this is done now what we have to do we have to create a dictionary so first i will create a dictionary that is book info equals dict and dictionary and within this book book no remember keys also are strings so you have to provide them within strings only who okay, can no. a mistake it has to be book info book info book name or book title equals title book info genre equals owner book info price equals price so we did this now we will be adding it to the file so pickle dot dump book info comma file and after we do this we are going to also use the flush function so we are going to type here file dot flush because this will the content of the file object into the disk file otherwise what happens is normally python writes everything or saves everything to the file when the close function is in the file here so we will be using flush function to do that book info dot clear we would be using this same book info function again and again for reading multiple book information so we will also clear the dictionary object right then once we complete this you can just give a message records inserted successfully so that's it we have inserted the data and now we are going to write the function for display because uh, insertion is not uh, just enough it is also important to display the records whether they are getting inserted properly or not just a second so display and within display i am not going to take any records and over here i am going to take firstly file dot seek so i will set the file pointer at the beginning set the file pointer to the beginning of file students just give me a minute set the file pointer to the beginning of the file now try block while true and we are going to read the content of the file so we will be doing it like this 
we will be creating book info again over here because book info was a local variable there so we will be creating it again over here and whatever we are going to read we will be reading within book info so book info equals pickle dot load file and ink book info now display of book info everybody knows how to do that so you can easily do this whenever you feel like right i'm just going to tell you the main thing uf error and once uf error is there i can just pass this okay so we have completed this and now we are going to test these two functions so we have insert book and we have display so we come to this pass insert book and second one display okay and before display i can also provide a message over here over here within display let's run the program and see insert book so insert book number p101 and let me take the name of the book which i had already fixed or we'll take it as non fiction and the price let me take it as 500 enter book number p102 name of the book this fiction okay uh, ma'am i sent a file which contains a lot of books on uh, john ross yes 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 i'll send it Are i'll send, send it to you no i have i, I sent it to you ma'am uh, in the uh, group chat okay okay thank you then i'll use it a little later okay thank you okay it is again and again i did some mistake you know that mistake is i forgot to ask for whether the user wants to enter more records or not so we skip that now it's too late anyway some uh, we might have already got some of the records there so i'm just going to do this over here and we will rerun the program we'll go back and i'm not going to enter any more records so a keyboard interrupt and let's run the program and let us see yes six books are already added to my database okay so this program is almost running fine now next what we need to do is search for a book so i'll first download uh, vedans book collection from where he has this is books this is the python file dear um, uh, i i changed it into a list because i was thinking i would uh... make a program which would insert uh, continuously into the sql program we did it it is just a text file which i converted into a list so okay okay then we'll see fine so next is what we are going to do is we have already displayed the book information now we need to search for a book so i will exit from here and we'll go back there and searching for the book is also very easy now can anyone tell me how you will be can anyone type the search program over here the search function or just tell me orally what you will be doing for search because we have already done it many times 
search book. So I'm creating search book here and you will be asking for. So let us search a book because book names you have already seen. They are very long. So let us search the books based on their book number. OK, so I will be asking for book number from the user. First of all, I will seek the file pointer to the beginning of the file. Print. Book you are looking for. And what I can do is again create this dictionary object and use the try block while true. Book info equals pickle dot load file. So we will get everything within book info. Now there is one line you will be writing. What you will be writing here to match the record. Remember you have to match this thing. You have to match the book number. OK, you have already asked for a book number from the user. This is asked from the user and this you have to match with the book number key of this. So what statement will you write? Wait, only those people will answer whom I'll ask the question. Yes, Yachna Meena, can you answer this question? How will you do the comparison for checking book number? For comparing, I need to compare. OK, so what I'm going to do is I will write if. Book info book info is the name of my dictionary. Within book info, I will be using which key book number key. If the value this will give me the value for book number. If this is equal to book number entered by the user, that means match is found. So all we need to do is display this. And break. Understood because there would be only one record with one book number. So this is what we are going to do. So we will be typing here if book info. Book no. Is equal to book no. Then print book info. And break. Error and if your error is there, we will be printing book doesn't exist. So this will be executed and it will come out. So now I'm going to write the statement here. So we will ask for a book number. So let me take this as book ID, although book number will also work. OK, so I'm just asking for the book number from the user input. Enter the book number for the book you want to search. You want to look up. OK, and we will be sending this book ID to the function. Look up, I think it is search book. Search book. Book ID. That's it. Let us run the program. So we will be having first of all search for a book. OK, OK, search for a book is three book number which you are looking for. Let me see one B104. And yes, we got B104. And if I again press search and if I enter B110, book doesn't exist and it is giving a value error. So what you can do is you can include the entire code within the try and accept block and just provide this value error such that it doesn't abruptly uh, exit like this. OK, that you can do as part of exception handling. Now our next topic is update book. Now this is going to be a bit long. OK, because we have to do a lot many things. So what we will be doing first is you already know that your. Table and second students. Your file contains everything in the form of dictionary, individual dictionary objects. Right and EOF would be somewhere over here. So very first thing what we will be doing is setting our pointer at the beginning. Second is 
read all this into a list. So we will be having an outer list whose individual list items are going to be these dictionary objects. And because they are list items, they would be having indices also. So our plan is first to search for the first read everything into a list. Second is search for the record which we are looking for based on your book number. So suppose the record look you are looking for is the second record with index one. So you will be saving this index within a variable. Let me take that variable is M rec no, which stands for match record number. And this dictionary we will be adding to a dictionary that is M rec. So we get this and now what we are going to do is update M rec. Provide the user a menu for updating individual list items. So what menu will you be providing to the user except book number? So update menu is going to be like this. Update. Book title. Second one. Update genre. Third one update price. So only these three things you will allow the user to update. OK, not the book ID. Because normally when we modify this program in future program, our program is going to auto generate book ID. OK, so because our program is going to auto generate book ID, hence we don't need to change book ID. We can completely rely on our program that our program will generate unique values for the book ID. After we do this, what will happen? We will be adding those updated values to MREC. So at the end, MREC would be MREC would be the one with updated value. So here we still have the old values and because we added this to MREC, hence MREC will be updated with the new values. And then what we need to do, can anybody tell me? This MREC in which we read this dictionary values, it is updated with new values. So now what to do within this list? I'm going to update it. That is, I'm going to replace this old dictionary object with the new dictionary object so that at the end this will also contain all the new values. And finally, this list which we had created, we will write it back to the file. OK, and this time file would be opened in which mode it would be working in the WB mode, but we will not be using it that way. We will first remove all content of the file. We would empty the file and then we would write content back to the file. So this is what we are going to do. So let's go back and let's go to update. So for update also we will be first looking for a book ID, we would be asking for a book ID from the user. And I'll be using the function update book. And pass book ID to that function and let's go back now. And we will create that function that is update book. So book no and First thing file dot seek zero. OK, set the pointer at the beginning. Create book info, which is a dictionary. Create a book list, which will be a list which will contain all my book records. OK, so first thing first, I'm going to. Populate book list. With file content. Right how to do that first try block while true the same old thing. So we are going to read everything into book info. So I'll be reading it into book info equals pickle dot load file. And add this to book list. So book list dot append book info. 
read from the file, go on adding it to book info list. And after you have completed doing this, you can simply type book info dot clear. Except EOF error. Once this is done, do nothing, just pass. Our second objective is to find the match record. And save it as well as its index in the list. Fine. So we have to find the match record now. So for this, what we will be doing is for now you might be thinking we can find the match record here itself. So yes, you can do that over here also, but I'm doing it over here. Or record in book list. Now what is record? Which type of an object is record? Tell me quickly. Which type of an object will be record? A list or a dictionary or a tuple. What will it be? It will be a dictionary. OK, because we are reading everything in the form of a dictionary. If you remember this book info is a dictionary. OK, so you read the record within book info. OK, and this record was in which form it was in a dictionary form which was added to book list now when you are accessing individual records within book list they would be what dictionaries now how to match so if record book no because it's a dictionary and book no is a key is equals to book number then that means a match is found so m rec will be equal to what record. So MREC can be a dictionary which contains the match records and MREC NO will contain what the index. So for the index, I will be using I over here. We'll use the enumerate function. So MREC no is equals to i and in the beginning I will be taking m rec as none and m rec no also as none. If this match is found, that means you can simply break the loop. Do I need to do anything else? No, we can simply break the loop, right? And now next is we have to update the matched record with new values. And once you find this match record, also don't forget to display that. OK, so this is the match record. And before that, you can also display a message. Book to be updated. Fine, so we just give a small line over here. This is all done for making our program presentable. OK, so update the match records with the match record with the new values. So this we will be doing only when a match is found. So if M rec, that means if M rec contains valid non zero. Value. Right, only when MREC contains valid non zero value. If it is none, this if block will not work. OK, so only when there is some valid value within MREC, then only proceed with the update. So I'm just typing pass over here. Else, what we can simply print record doesn't exist. I, I type this so that we do not lose track of the uh, program blocks or the if blocks in our function because otherwise this function is going to be quite big. OK, so now in case of pass, I'm, I can write all the statements. Now what I need to do, I need to provide an update menu to the user. So I'll be using while true. Print.
update book info. The first thing which we are going to ask is book title. Second, honor. Third, price. And finally, I can print. You can ask for the user's choice over here. Enter your choice. So if choice is equal to one, that means update book title. I'm typing pass right now. If choice is equals to update genre. Choice is equals to three update price. Else break. So, firstly, you are going to ask for a book title from the user. So, I type here new book title equals input. Enter the new book title. and mrec book title will be updated with new book title fine same way i'm going to do it for the others also new genre equals input enter the new genre mrec genre equals new genre and finally price new price equals well input enter the new price mrec price equals new price i did a mistake here So at the end, my M rec will be containing what the new record. So one second, let me just check. Yes. OK, it's done. So at the end of this loop, that is the at the end of the while loop, M rec would have already been updated with new values. So what we need to do is now we need to replace mrec replace the matched record within book list with mrec what statement will i write for this quickly tell me remember we have mrec no let me explain we have mrec no which contains the index of the matched record we have mrec which contains the updated record. And we have book list which contains the list of all the books. How will we update that? Ma'am, book list mrec no is equal to mrec. Yes, book list mrec no. That is replace this uh, match record with MRE. So this will update it. And now I can write this. I can dump the book list to the file. So for that, first of all, file dot seek zero, file dot truncate, which will remove the content of the file. That is empty the file completely. And now we are going to dump it to the file. So for this again, we will be using a for loop. So for record in book list. Pickle dot dump record comma file. And also file dot flush. So this will write all the records back to the file and you can just give a message over here. 
बुक रिकॉर्ड अपडेटेड सक्सेसफुली that makes it i think all the things are included in this if mrec is not if it doesn't contain any valid record then we can simply print that the record doesn't exist if it exist we can search for it we can update the record we can replace that within the book list and we can write it to the file so let's run the program and check we will first display all the books and let us re replace book number 1 b 103 so fourth option b 103 okay there is some problem key error did you name it book id ma no no one second let me check let me check the book id this is book number we will be using this one only book number only that provided update book id this book id would be uh, saved over here in book number so what's the problem it should be book id the if record book number equals book id beta ek cheez dekho see here what is there in this one say what is there in the argument list book eno okay so it should be and here i have used it as book id fine so i have entered the value within book id this is in the global section so book id would be one value and book id is a label which is pointing to that value right when i pass this to update book function then another label book no is going to point to that same location right that should not be a problem problem is something else key error it's giving me book no if let's print and see if book no gets printed yes it's getting printed that means it is accepting that why we are getting a problem in update book if record book no equals book no that is the issue this record is a dictionary so if this record book no if it gives me let me print this print record what i get 4b103 okay nothing is read that's the problem the, the dictionary is empty okay so we need to find what's the problem with this for record in book lists डेटा that's not a problem fine so let me first print book list and check whether it's printing everything there or not it's not printing anything okay file dot seek zero
why is book list empty it should contain the dictionary book info Okay. Students, we will continue this. I'll try to figure out what is the problem because our code is correct. There is nothing wrong with the code. Maybe there is some error which we have, we might have missed. So I will look into that and then we'll get back on this day after tomorrow. Okay. So that's all in today's class. We will check. I'll check what's the pro what the problem is, and I'll get back to you. I'll inform in the group also. So thank you students. I stopped the share and I stopped the recording over here.